happy Tuesday. I'm trying to figure out the best time to do my Facebook Lives on Tuesdays. So I'm sort of leaning more toward earlier in the day rather than later in the day. If you have a time that you prefer, let me know. And, um, you know, that'll help me figure out uh, when to do this. Anyway, so today's Tuesday, and I think my headline is um, Random Stress and then the heartburn guide. So I put a heartburn, uh, I created a free guide last week that went out. So I just will talk about that a little bit today. I actually have it on the screen, which I didn't intend to do yet. So I'm taking that down. You get to just look at me first. Uh, so it's Tuesday, so random stress. Uh, this happens to all of us, right? Just weird stuff that we don't expect to happen. And, you know, trying to live this stress-free life and be calm. So yesterday I was just uh, bending over to pick something up. And this has never happened to me before. And there was a very loud popping noise in my back. It was terrifying. It was in my lower back. And I thought, oh my God, am I paralyzed? And fortunately I was able to stand up, but there was a lot of pain um, and it had continued to get more sore uh, and stiff as the day wore on. And I am still incredibly sore and stiff today. And we're getting on an airplane shortly, yay. Um, That'll be fun. So this has never happened to me before. I It was just crazy. And I don't have a chiropractor. I will have one October 11th, which is when I get to get in there to see her. <laughs> I hope to be better by then. Um, but oh my gosh, it's just crazy. It was a very scary noise. So that created a lot of stress in my life um, yesterday and today still because I'm uncomfortable and I didn't sleep well. Um, and on top of that, I'm a little bit cuckoo. Here's a little insight into my kooky world. Um, I, with my bad back and not being able to kind of bend and move, I have been cleaning my house, vacuuming, mopping, um, even scrubbing my cabinetry in my kitchen. Now, this is something that I don't normally do, and I certainly don't do for my family, but we're going out of town, as I mentioned, and I have my house sitter coming. And I am afraid I'm going to be judged by my house sitter. So I run around and clean like a maniac whenever my house sitter comes. Now, understand my house sitter is a college student. However, in my defense, he is British and he seems very tidy. So it makes me very nervous. So anyway, here I am, pain, pain in my back, running around doing all kinds of weird cleaning that I don't normally do. And causing my back to flare. But anyway, weird, just random weird stress, right, that I've created. I mean, clearly I didn't uh, do the back thing on purpose, but running around cleaning, mopping, and doing all that kind of stuff, causing that stress, that's my own issue. <laughs> I need to sort of get past it. All right, moving on. So uh, last week, the Healthy Life Fit was about um, heartburn and reflux because over the past two weeks, oddly enough, I have been getting a lot of um, questions about heartburn and reflux. It just kind of out of the blue, that seemed to be the topic. So I thought, perfect, that's what I'll write about. So um, I did my blog post, um, Healthy Life Bit last week was on heartburn. So if you go to my blog, uh, amywhitenutrition.com blog, you'll see that and you can read there and you can get this um free guide. There is a little email form in there in that blog post that you can fill out and get the guide. So um, understand that heartburn is multifactorial. Everybody is going to have different issues. There are some simple things that you can do at home to try and figure out what's going on in your body. So sort of that baseline basic stuff. And for most people, this will help. Now, if you're not getting the kind of relief that you need and want, then you may need to dig, well, you will need to dig deeper. Uh, and that's when you want to get a nutritionist involved, maybe talk to your doctor. I would actually recommend a nutritionist over the doctor because it's more likely the doctor will put you on um, medication, which is just a Band-Aid. That is not, the medication isn't solving the problem. So anyway, in my guide... Uh, I talk a little bit about stomach acid and how that's related to um, indigestion. Uh, and it's just, you know, um, 
to let you know, often it is low stomach acid, not high stomach acid. Um, I teach you how to do a quick at home test for stomach acid, super easy. Uh, then we go into uh, a supplementation protocol on how to build your stomach bas acid back up to healthy levels, which is really important. And you'll learn that either in my blog post and or the guide. Um, and then I kind of give you a diet and lifestyle checklist. So things that tend to impact what's causing your symptoms and a little suggestion on some tomato sauce that seems to be good for people who have issues with tomatoes. Um, I also move into, and this is something I just added to my guide. So if you downloaded the guide last week, this wasn't in it. I just updated it, which I do all the time to my guides. I'm always updating them. Um, but I wanted to throw FODMAPs in there. So FODMAPs are a type of food that tend to exacerbate symptoms, gut um, and digestive symptoms. And those same symptoms that tend to be related to heartburn and reflux. So I explain what FODMAPs are, um, and then I give you a kind of a checklist of a do not eat checklist. So these are all, these are common FODMAPs. FODMAP, the list of FODMAPs is great. So this is not an exhaustive list, it's a partial list. So check it out, it's the common stuff. If watching or taking these things out of your diet doesn't do it, you might want to Google FODMAPs and find the extensive list to see if there's anything specific in that list that maybe you eat regularly. Um, and then uh, my steps to help relieve reflux, some supplement suggestions, and then my food mood poop journal, which is the way you need to um, gather data. So if you're going to investigate food as a, as a uh, root cause to your reflux or digestion, you're going to want to use the food mood poop journal because this will tell you what's going on. And I explain how to use that in here and you get a little poop chart and all that good stuff. So that is what is in the guide. Um, you again, you can go to Amy White Nutrition. Uh, oops, I'm trying to remove it. There we go. Uh, Amy White Nutrition um, and read my blog. And, or you can actually follow, and I'll put the link right here. I think I still have it, yep. Um, I just put the link in the chat, um, but this takes you just to the page with the guide. So you can just download it there if you wanna just skip the whole blog post. And um, I thought that this was so interesting, oops. <laughs> I thought this was so interesting because guess what? Have you guys seen the news that they're recalling um, uh, Zantac and generic um, uh, acid inhibitors, the things that you guys buy at the drugstore to um, feel better when you have heartburn. So those are being recalled. Um, they've found some carcinogenic properties in them and so they're pulling them from the shelves. Oh my God, how long has everybody been taking those? Uh, so also in my guide, one of the things that I um, outline is an at-home remedy that's that totally works and it has its baking soda and water. And I know it works because my husband was having a horrible um, uh, reflux um, incident when we were up at our cottage and there's no drug stores, there's nothing anywhere nearby. Plus it was the middle of the night. But I did remember um, the baking soda trick. So we did that and it relieved his reflux instantly. It was, it was like, it was magic. So don't freak out because you can't get your over-the-counter um, acid pills. Uh, go and get my guide and um, try the baking soda um, option. It's um, it's all natural. <laughs> all right. So that is pretty much it for Tuesday. I um, have been listening and people have been commenting on what they'd like to learn about. So this week's um, healthy uh, uh, lifestyle bit is going to be about exercise because I got some questions about how do you start exercising when you're over 50? And I know it can be intimidating um, joining a gym at any age, but if you're over 50 and you're just starting or getting back into it, it can be daunting to try to join a gym, which you of course don't have to do. And the corresponding guide that is going to go with the blog post on Thursday will explain how you can exercise at home and different ways you can do that. But it also walks you through 
how to join a gym with confidence. So don't feel like the gym isn't for you. It can be really fun, especially if you end up making friends and meeting people. It will motivate you to go because people will expect to see you there. So if you're interested at all in joining a gym, watch for my How to Join a Gym with Confidence guide that will come out with the blog post on Thursday. So, all right. Again, please comment. Let me know what you're looking for, what you want to learn about, and I will try to accommodate you. Um, so have a happy rest of your week. Bye-bye.